In tonight's Be Healthy, cancer is a word we all dread for ourselves and for loved ones. But now, how one type of cancer is treated has completely changed. It's prostate cancer. Now, most men who are diagnosed with it do not have to undergo surgery. So if we can find a way of getting around that. 58-year-old Ralph Morissette has cancer, but it's not as dire as you might think. They found something. So, okay. So now after that, your blood pressure goes off the roof and you're getting real nervous. He says, okay. It's not really, really, don't get, it's not aggressive. His doctor, Desmond Ebanks, uses some fairly new tests to learn more about his prostate cancer. Until recently, there's not been a way to really differentiate those that would be aggressive from the cancers that will not. Dr. Ebanks says only a small percent of prostate cancers are aggressive, and he can now use tests to identify those men for surgical removal of their prostate. Traditionally, uh, with prostate cancer, uh, a man, an elevated PSA would result in a biopsy, and if cancer is found, then you'd have either surgery or radiation treatment, uh, with the idea that any you know, early cancer you can find, you want to eliminate it. And for years, that was the norm for prostate cancer treatment, even low risk cancers. And the downside to having a radical prostatectomy was life altering to most. Many men are left with side effects of being uh, impotent or incontinent. And many of these are young men, you know, in their late 40s, 50s, 60 year old. Here's an example of just how things have changed with treatment. Just five years ago, Ralph probably would have had his prostate removed and been living a different kind of life. Why get aggressive into your body if you don't have to? And Ralph does not have to undergo surgery. Dr. Ebanks confirmed that Ralph's cancer is not aggressive by using the following tests. A PCA3 prostate cancer antigen. It's a genetic test on cells in a man's urine. The traditional PSA test, if both tests show trouble, a doctor can now order a prostate MRI. So if a biopsy is needed, doctors can now see exactly where to take it from, unlike blind biopsies in the past. But on this day, Ralph learned a watch and wait approach will work for him. It's really, really low. Everything looks really great. There's no reason to get nervous. You don't have to like run out and make a well. <laughs> Everything sounds great, and we're going to keep an eye on it. So I'm on top of the world right now. Some big advances there. The tests are covered by insurance, and Dr. Ebank says monitoring men with non aggressive prostate cancers works, citing a 10 year study showing they had the same survival rate as those who underwent the surgery.